Hello again. Today on this video, you're going to cover camera and change our flight with the camera. If you remember from the previous video, our flight was pretty much awkward, just like this. When we were moving forward, when we turned, we were just going to a direction that we don't want to go. But um, we were just turning the camera. However, I just realized that um, I just kept one of my changes on. Actually, it was something that I wanted to show you. I will just compile because of it and just override and show you the last state we were on. So basically, my character was turning when I was flying, but it was something that I wasn't intended because like I want to show you how it was previously so I'm in the flight mode I move forward when I turn my camera my character just goes on the same way but my flight happens according to my camera like wherever I face with my camera when I press W I get velocity on that direction so what we are gonna change now is I want the character to turn when I turn my camera like this on top since this is not really a pleasant way of flying like turning the camera but my character just goes on backwards or the direction that I am not really interested with we are gonna make the flight change according to the camera so first let's go for the camera character turn uh, binding on this one we again are going to use the tick function and basically what we want to do is we want to make it associated with the flight only because the character normally does a good job on turning with the camera like I am like this I turn my camera and my character moves according to my camera direction except for when I stop when I stop I can rotate my camera normally I don't want to overwrite that I want everything to be related with the flight so if you remember we had a boolean variable which was called flight mode and only in that mode we could give the flight commands so I will use that and make a condition for the rotation I will say if flight mode then I will just wrap everything that is related to flying into this one so this is flying thing was as I said actually was um, is flapping wings basically it was related to my input of flap your wing so I did not change the variables but I will just move around them so what we are gonna fill is we want to turn the character so we are gonna set the characters rotation so for that we just type get actor or character rotation I can't remember yes get actor rotation with this we are getting but we want to actually set it so we can just use set to but actually the rotation will only be on X and Y axis because I don't want the character to face upwards or downwards with the camera I just want it to be on the horizontal plane so for that I will just reveal the contents of set actor rotation and I just need to fill the parenthesis over here and it gets it has actually two which can be overridden it can get F rotator or it can get F quad so we will use the F rotator because it is much easier for us so I say F rotator in order to get one of the static um, create a static 
uh, variable to give into it, I say f rotator, and now I can build it. And if we go downwards, we can see that it can get pitch, yo, and roll values. So if you remember the previous videos, yo was on the horizontal plane, so yo was like this. This one was yo. So I will give a new yo, but I want to keep the pitch and roll values the same. So for that, I first need to get the characters current um, pitch and roll and set them back. I can do it just by typing get actor rotation and then I can just get this one's pitch value or I can just put this on a separate um, temporary variable. It will just make your code more clean but um, it might cause some performance issues. Actually, I don't know like what the difference would be. I did not evaluate it that way. But just to get some cleanness on the code, I will just do it this way. Get active rotation. It's an F rotator, so I will save it or store it as F rotator. I say F rotator, put the type in, and give the name 10 actor rotation okay it is angry for some reason f rotator temp actor rotation this is right oh yeah sorry 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 just this <laughs> I was like what the hell is happening over there okay so now since we stored it I can now use temp actor rotation dot pitch then we need the yo because it's what's what the constructor tells us to do I say follow camera get follow camera actually get component rotation this is just the same and I say yo another comma and temp back to rotation dot roll now with the setup what we have is on every tick and if you are in the flight mode our character I forgot to uh, parenthesis closure there our character will just follow the camera. Wherever we look with the camera, our character will turn that way. Let's just try it out. And also, I have to say that this is not the final thing. This is not what we want to achieve. We will change that, but just for the sake of showing the things that you can do with the camera, I am just going this way. Because the things we are going to do will be actually related to this. Go into flight mode, flap some wings, and turn. As you see, the character follows my camera. However, when we are stationary or um, not moving in the X or Y axis, our character will turn in like a stuttered way. It just looks a bit weird, but it gets better afterwards. I don't know why that happens. But, it doesn't matter now, we achieved what we wanted. Now, I will play again and show you what I actually want. So, when I'm like this, when I'm moving forward, without pressing W, I want my velocity to be directed into the way I am facing. So, like, when I turn like this, I want to actually go towards that building when I turn. So this time we need to change the velocity too and we are not changing the value of the velocity this time just like we did on flight or sprint or something. This time we will change just the direction. 
So we go back and we will handle this event on tick again. So what we are going to do right now is, uh, sorry, it's just happening in here as well. I am going to get the velocity, get character movement. velocity now if we hover on it it is an effector and like the value will not be 110 or something it will actually contain the amount of um, movement speed you have as well so it will be something like 1000 1000 and 300 something like that so we will go back into maths actually and we will just have this. I am gonna go for paint. So now I drew the planes and I did it beforehand, so that's something that is really unexpected of me. So let's just forget about Z and just aim on Y and X. So right now, if we are moving in a way, it just becomes um, the sum of x and y, or something like this. So that means that assuming this x and y are positive and like going towards this way, not backwards. So this one is our movement in horizontal plane, or depending on x and y, and it can be calculated with the square root of the sum of x and y's. So I am going to write this. A. So square root. I don't know how to put the character. x square plus y square. And I'm going to put squares now. Does this work? Maybe. Yeah. Even if it's up way, it's just okay. So this is our velocity in a direction. So what we are going to do is we are going to change x and y values so that the new ones, um, this calculation is just the same as ours. So this is quite a lot of maths and probably we will not get into it on this one, but I will just show where we will follow. So we are going to start this one again, a vector um, character velocity. So now we start it. Right now we will just do our things on this one and like we will do this curve stuff as well. So I will just stop this video over here because it just will not be enough and see you on the next video.